Hi, I'm Gilles. I'm Carla. And this is a class recap for our last class of February for the elective series, Lindy Resolutions Part 2. So that's week four. That's right. And we continued on with your spins and turns uh, technique. We did the same kind of solo warm up from last week. And then we reviewed a little bit of that inside roll turn. And then we changed it from inside roll to a pop turn. So the first thing we built on was just having the hand and doing inside roll. One, two, three, and four five and six and then we did that without the hand so we went one two three and four five and six maybe we'll show you at the audience as well so one two uh, three and four five and six nice and relaxed nice and mellow and even through the turn and then we added before we changed it to pop turn we actually added a little side slide with that yes. so we have the follower here and we go one two three and four catch five six seven and eight and from that catch you can actually do a short slide if you want from four you can go four five six and you can go into your rock step on seven or you can draw it out longer five six seven and we did a stomp off and follows i went right left and jill went left right left right making sure we're sitting back and have some stretch on the and eight and then pop turn that's right pop turn without the hand we, we did a free pop turn one two uh, three, three and four, four five, five and six so adding some urgency some speed to the turn for the follower some more energy shoot boom sagara watch those braids follow <laughs> <laughs> do you want to show how you do the the arm movement for that so the the prep is the same as we have a turn right so we still want to give a rotational rock step and from here our arms is going like this but it's like there's a quick next to it before we were kind of going with the floor you know gently this one is going hop pop yes we don't want the arm to face down but the elbow comes up a little bit to help with that motion yeah uh, but the arm stays kind of horizontal after that and follows that gives you that quickness on the two and so instead of going one two and three and four and five and six he is giving us that urgency one two and three and four five and six so it has a different flavor to the turn it has this quickness to a slow relaxed yeah. feel at the end and we can use that actually to signal to the follower hey I want you to get somewhere a little faster or and as a follower I would choose not to style through something like that if he's working to build some urgency yeah. in the turn yep and because of that the timing of the triple step is different yeah so we, we're doing it together we're going and one two, two and three, three and four, four five, five and six so it has a little different rhythm to it one two and three, three and four. four five and six and then we, we added oh, yes we added another turn three. so we went one two, two a three, three and four, four five six, six seven, seven eight a little redirect turn there once you have caught your follower on four you're going to open up rotating five bring your follower back through six and seven eight and we're doing a one-footed turn there on that second turn so one more time there's a, little bit, there's a twist here happening and then we use that tuck here five six and reverse seven into eight the spin and then we finish with a triple step yeah and you can either triple step your seven and eight or you can hold and step down on eight sometimes it's really fast we might not have time to triple step five six seven eight or sometimes it's slower i might want to milk it five six and seven eight he can't really lead that triple step to you on the seven eight that's kind of your choice yeah. as a leader or a follower and we can also do it without the leaders turning oh yes that's right so we can go twist five six seven eight yeah and that was our class. Was our class. Spins Thank and you. Turns. Thank you very much.